couple days ago I produced a video on hidden fuses found in transformers and I showed how oftentimes you can peel away the plastic and find a fuse hidden there. And what I didn't mention was that the fuses that you're going to find will be thermal fuses and I, I got that info thanks to some of my viewers who left that in the comment section. So I wanted to redo the video and make sure that everyone knows the fuses they use in the, in the transformers are going to be thermal fuses. And the reason for that is oftentimes the windings will short out in a transformer and it may be a short that causes the transformer to draw more current to the point where the transformer gets real hot but it's not hot enough or it's not drawing enough current to actually cause the fuse to open so you may have a dangerous condition that a fuse won't respond to and if you look at the thermal fuse they always have the temperature ratings on them so if this one for example it'll it'll open up at 15 amps or 442 degrees celsius i'm sorry fahrenheit 228 degrees Celsius. So I just wanted to make sure I share that information because a lot of people who watch my videos are probably going to uh, be looking for fuses and transformers and should somebody jump on using a standard microfuse like these. It might be an issue, probably not, but uh, you want to know the facts before you decide on what you're going to go with there. Now I rarely find fuses on the larger transformers. <clears throat> seems to always be the smaller ones that have the fuses. Um, and generally the, the fuses that I find in the transformers are a lot of times I find them on these small transformers or what some call wall warts. So okay I thought I'd better share that info. I think I'll attach my first video to this one and perhaps delete the first one because uh, although I updated the annotations I, I think some of the people turn off the annotations and uh, I want everybody to know about this. In this video I'm going to show you a little trick you can use that will enable you to repair transformers on occasion. It's not always possible, but in this case it looks like we're probably going to be in luck. A gentleman just brought in this controller here for a, a I believe it's a stove, and he said he didn't want to have to buy the whole board because it was going to cost him, I think it was two or three hundred dollars, so he wanted to know if there's anything I could do to repair it. Well, I'm not an expert on controller boards, but as you can see a lot of these components most of you are familiar with that are easy to check, the diodes, the relays, the capacitors, and also the uh, transformer. Now because I've seen transformers fail a lot on different appliances, I thought I better check this out first of all. So I determined where my two inputs were looking over the PC board and it looks like the two inputs here are these terminals right here. We've got E1 and E2 and one of the inputs goes through this little fuse right here. This little black thing is a fuse believe it or not. So looking over the transformer it was easy to determine where the primary and secondary was and when I took my ohmmeter and put it across the primary I determined that it was an open circuit. Well unfortunately when a winding burns out sometimes that can be a real hassle because it could be deep within the transformer so you're not going to find it but a lot of times the manufacturers bury a little fuse inside these transformers and sometimes it's just a matter of tearing apart some of the plastic uh, covering the wire like I did here so after I unsoldered this thing I started tearing apart the plastic here and what do I find? but a fuse now it doesn't look like a fuse, but there's a fuse right there. It might have some more plastic around it. I'm going to see if I can further unwrap it and determine its value. But I've seen this a lot of times, and you can't always assume it's going to be on the top of the transformer. Sometimes it can be on the back side. You'll find a nice little fuse there. Oftentimes it'll have the numbers on it, tell you exactly what it is. But even if you don't know the exact value of the fuse, you can sometimes guesstimate it just by knowing what it does and having a general idea you know how much current's going to go through it so i'm going to i'm going to tear this open further here and uh, if i can get this going for the guy he's going to be a happy camper because well we're looking at like i said uh, 2 to 300 dollars for this controller module here anyway i just thought i'd make a quick video about that hope you find the information helpful and if you like it please give me a thumbs up